tell me what's really going on jersey back up in this thing i'm ready what's happening what's happening what's happening are right, y'all ready all right y'all welcome back to yet another episode of i'm down i don't know if this is gonna be down the blog or if this is gonna be i'm down chris where are you bro hr department looking for your ass we can't find you sir we can't find you please report for duties immediately now yeah what, what's up with y'all real quick before i even uh get started let me um get all of this out the way get out get out okay do you guys want to introduce yourselves real quick please Introduce yourself to, to the audience. It's your boy, Almond. You already know what it do. <laughs> I don't know what it do. What it do, Almond? Hold on. What does it do? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What does that mean, bro? I can't say on camera what it do. But I don't know what that means. All right, got you, what bro. What it do. Okay. What do you do, bro? I don't know what he does, bro. It's your boy, Jay. Coming to you from I'm Down's offices. Let's go. Yes, sir. So, um, you know, we do need to get a sponsor already. When is Easy Play going to sponsor us, huh? I mean, I mean, Easy Play does sponsor. Uh, we're already sponsored. Technically, Technically speaking, we're sponsored Easy Play already. does sponsor. So we're going to have to do a little uh, this ad. This fucking table is expensive as fuck. Yes, <laughs> it is. Very, very, very. All right, y'all. Yo, where, where y'all want to start? Where do y'all want to start? want to start by shout out to Easy Play. You know what I'm saying? Y'all cover, cover fucking playground for the team. You know what? Now, nah, that's true. You know what? Um, I know, Glenn, you don't watch this shit at all. Uh, but shout out to Easy Play for show for uh, facilitating uh, this great place for us uh, to you know fuck around and talk shit. Uh, really appreciate it actually. But let's talk about something real quick, right? So we we're talking earlier about the TikTok, the TikTok thing, right? So actually, let me pull it up and let me. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot easier if I just put this shit up real quick. You see, this is exactly why when I tell you, you know, you need like a little producer. Definitely. All right. So check it, check it. Check it. So let me let me put the thing up here. In a relationship? Yes, I do. Do I actually want to date you? Absolutely not. Are you allowed to talk to other people? I prefer if you didn't. Can I? Yes, I can. Is that toxic? Probably. Do I care? No. Do I want to act like we're in a relationship? Yes, I do. Do I actually want to date you? Absolutely not. Are you allowed to talk to other people? I prefer if you didn't. Can I? Yes, I can. Is that toxic? Probably. Do I care? No. <laughs> All right. So disclaimer yes this is gonna be men talking about women i got it all right real quick do you think she's a hoe nah i didn't say she was a hoe you're fucking do you crazy you think she's a hoe nah, okay really. so talk to me what, what okay this is perfect then this is absolutely perfect i think she's a hoe me personally i think she's a hoe tell me why tell me why you don't think she's a t tell me like in your head like, how do you, you see this off, life first of all let me ask you that question why do you think she's a hoe well, okay, so she wants to look like she's in a relationship, but she does not want to go out with the guy. She says she doesn't want to date him. He, she rather him not talk to other girls, but she can talk to other guys. Right? That that was the scope of it, right? Yeah. And she says somebody if it's toxic, that shit don't matter. Um, cause obviously, look, I get it. The whole shit is a joke. The point is that this mentality exists, though, right? Like there, there really is this mentality. So this is the thing. I feel like. In today's age, women are using, or not even women, women and men, right, are justifying their actions with other words, meaning that they choose bigger, fancier, better phrases to, like, hide the fact that you're doing one fucking thing and you're just hoeing around. So I'll give an example, right? So let me get on the guys real quick. So, you know, as a guy, you guys could talk about this. You guys could relate to this shit as a man, right? You will say that... For you to hook up with other girls, it doesn't really matter. Like, like for you, you'll be like, ah, it's just a hookup. It's just physical. It doesn't mean anything, yada, yada, yada. But that's a lie we tell ourselves all the fucking time. That's because we're insecure. Now, now let me break that shit down for you real quick, right? Now, you might be like, well, what the fuck do you mean I'm insecure if I'm fucking other girls, if you have a girlfriend, right? So check it. If you're a cheater, what you're essentially, or even if you're just fucking around, right? Like even as just a single person, you're just fucking around with multiple partners. What ends up happening is that it's not so much the physical aspect that necessarily feeds it, like feeds you and feeds that want. It's your ego. Like you literally just want to know that this girl wants to fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like, so you're going to go ahead and that, again, mind you, guys are used to rejection and all of that shit. So, That's you know, smart. yeah, I mean. Sure, but for the most part, most guys are, right? Most guys are hitting on girls. Girls aren't usually hitting on guys. But you feel me, though. You feel what I'm saying? So what do guys do, right? Guys usually be on that tip of like, yo, 
I'm gonna just mess around with shorty or I, I, I fuck X, Y, and Z girls, but I have a girlfriend though, and that doesn't mean nothing. Like, it, it, those girls don't mean nothing to me. It's just physical, yada, yada, and you can keep it moving. I understand, like, the psychological aspect of that, right? Because you don't need necess- a guy doesn't necessarily need to be, like, emotionally involved with the girl, but that's not the problem. The problem is that you're doing that to feed your ego. You get what I'm saying? So, like, the reason why most men cheat is literally to feed their ego. Like, you want to know that you're wanted by somebody else. And so you use that, like, because at the end of the day, that means that you don't really like yourself, if you think about it. You have to, like, try to find other people to say, hey, I like you. So, and and the way, and again, my bad, because I'm kind of all over the place, right? But essentially, you really are just kind of looking for girls to be like, yeah, I like you. And so you use her like liking you as a justification for you feeling better about yourself that's all that that really is and so like if you play it down with girls girls like to say shit like oh no i'm not i'm not a hoe i'm just having fun or like oh no i'm not a hoe uh i'm just i'm just uh on this plane or whatever fucking phrase you want to use i feel like too much of that shit is going on nowadays it's like yo everybody gets blurry after a while but that's what i'm saying because but i feel like we have too many names now for like a whole bunch of other shit like think about that shit now like at one point, it was gay people and straight people. Now it's like asexual, bisexual, c-sexual, transsexual. Like it's a bunch of sexualities now. Like we're no longer like in like nobody's one. Nobody's regular. Nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like nobody's, nobody's normal anymore. anymore. Like for example, a guy can literally be like. For, uh, for example, remember we're talking about this uh, on Vlad TV, right? Like, like this. This is another justification, right? It was on Vlad Ma- TV? The, remember what? the porn star dude that that we're talking about, the big black dude. What's his name? With that, he was Which on there one? with the white girl. I forgot his name, bro. Uh, I know with the white about. girl. I know you're Okay, about. Vlad asked him, right? Basically asked him, like, you know, as a as a performer, when you have when you're doing DPs, right? Like double penetration with other girls. I'm sorry, with what a guy. With I'm a sorry, guy. yeah, with yeah, another, another guy, guy and the girl, right? And you're both going in like the same place. Isn't that gay? Like that's a little gay. Like dicks are touching, and, and he's like, "Well, it's not because you know I'm a professional. You know, I, I get to zone that out in my head. I'm like, what? Like that shit to me don't make no fucking sense. Like it don't make you because you know I mean that make no that, sense. You're not in that realm. Like not everybody can do porn. Okay. Niggas think that they can do porn because yeah, oh, yeah. nah, I like fucking. I, I could not really. Yeah, yeah. So you will not if you're in the room. You're in the room with people. But you're you don't feel. Like, but you don't feel like him saying that's not gay. I'm a professional is a justification. You don't. Do you feel like that's a justification or no? I've, I feel like he. I feel like he's more qualified. I mean, if he says it's not gay and he's out there doing this shit, I'm not out there DPing. I'm not that. Yeah, out but there th- in the but think about street. this though. Think I'm about this. He's saying he's saying that two dicks touching together is not homosexuality. Like, when is that not homosexuality? It, that's like. That's if you want to, if like, you want to get, if you want to come down to like the facts, like technically, uh-huh. like the. Te- All right, you know yes. what? Yes, because yes. okay, no, no, you know what? No, it's a little gay. If you actually, I, I think the opposite. I think if you get down to the facts of being technical, then it's not because okay, if you want to be technical about it, you're gonna be like, well, being gay means you're attracted to other men, men, or you want a relationship, right? Like whether it's a sexual one or an emotional one with other men, right? This and, is you, something different, right? But, but that's what I'm saying, though. But that, that is what would be considered gay technically, right? I would assume. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know the definition by, like, heart. But I'm assuming that I did a pretty good job at putting that together. So if that's, by definition, if that's it, then he's not gay. Because he's just saying, yo, I'm here to do a job. I'm performing. I don't like guys. I fuck girls. I fuck girls normally. Like, yeah, I mean, this is not something that's, like, I normally do. It's just something for performance-based. Then, technically, he's not gay. But I feel like, you know, in any scope. It's like, imagine if you were to kiss a guy. And that's cool. Like you see that in movies a lot, right? Like you see a lot of dudes kissing dudes or whatever, and like you just keep it moving. <laughs> or, yeah, man, there's a lot of. For example, you have Tyler Perry dressed up as Medea. Like some people call that like, like think, giving up your I, integrity I or like he whatever. Really is gay though. Tyler Perry is not gay. You think Tyler Perry is gay? Uh, nobody knows. Nobody. I mean, man. behind closed door, he could be fucking little boys. Well, look, th- this is my thing. Th- my thing is that I would like to hear from women what they think this is but yeah. this is why i, I a, personally I have a better gator yeah but no but i want to know why you guys because technically you guys are on the girl side because girls play the, the the hand that you guys are playing for me it's just it's just very simple but like if you are somebody who is promiscuous right and you just out there having fun what we call having fun means you are a hoe like that's literally what it, what it all is the only problem is that guys get praised for being hoes and girls don't get praised for being hoes so I feel like it is in women's best interest to change the vocabulary. I understand it for sure. But I still feel like 
there's like almost this like hidden message within that justification that's like yo we're just like you know i'm just put a pretty blanket over this and and that's about it but it's like eh, like you like the, think about it right what do we call having fun like like when you think about like oh you oh he's out there fucking we usually say oh like, he's going through his whole phase or she's going through her whole phase but we call it a whole phase for a reason because you just fucking you get me you just out there fucking and shit and i mean if you think but obviously this comes down to what depends on you believing if you're a spiritual person then you probably believe in soul ties i mean like whoever you fuck with like for example there's people that believe that if you wear somebody else's clothing you get their shit like whatever shit that they might be into you get their shit yeah, like their energy and shit right exactly exactly like the whole that's what the whole soul ties stand down to but i want to hear y'all though i want to hear why y'all don't think she's a hoe what what is what is y'all like where are y'all heads at with this I don't think y'all, like I told you, she's fucking crazy. She fucking crazy. But I told, like I told you before, but if she want to think that way, that's cool. Whatever, fine. Just, yeah, yeah. like I said, don't get mad when I start doing other shit or I don't give you attention or I'm paying yeah. about somebody else's attention or I'm fucking somebody else. Yeah. You can't get mad because you're out there doing the same thing. Is what Jay says. You're just being selfish. I mean. You're just being selfish and yeah. only caring about yourself. But, and, and, but, you know, this is the thing, right? So women have, like, gone on this, like, forever long campaign on men and shit right like forever like i hear that shit more than i've heard any phrase in my entire life niggas ain't shit niggas ain't shit niggas ain't shit so when i hear that shit repeated time and time again and then you start to like listen okay well you know what let me hear why they think right niggas ain't shit like let me let me hear them out real quick then it gets a little bit even more tricky because it's like, well, niggas ain't shit because you get with them, they want to cheat on you. You get with them, they want to DM other bitches. You get with them, they want to X, Y, and Z. The majority of it revolves around cheating, like almost every single time. You get what I'm saying? So think about that shit for a minute. So you, because right, again, I was talking to my girl about this and this is like what she came up with, which was what well, I was thinking the same thing, which is like, I feel like this is just girls getting back at us. You get what I'm saying? The whole, oh, I'm, I'm going to just have fun. I'm going to be having fun. Is niggas been doing the having fun shit for fucking ever, yeah. ever. Since the beginning of fucking time, niggas been fucking. I'm sure Adam was fucking with like a fucking horse or some shit could, like that. He if he been, could, he could. You feel been, me? Back in could. the day. So I, I, exactly. So I get why girls be tripping. Like I, I, I'm not saying that they not tripping for a good reason. But what I'm trying to say is that not every fucking nigga ain't shit. Maybe you just got ain't shit pussy. Like good, fucking Cat good, Williams there's says. There's some good men out there. You feel me? There's some good men out there. You that, just but have that, to discover them. That's what I'm saying. Look, I feel like there's both good men and good women. However, I feel like what we get and what we receive in the media and constantly push at us is that both parties ain't shit. Like, okay, you have a girlfriend, right? You don't think your girlfriend is not shit. And your girlfriend doesn't think you ain't shit either, right? Why? I think it's just a different kind of relationship. It was it was bound to be a relationship. It wasn't like a... I well, why don't you think women ain't shit, though? Like, how come you don't have that mentality? How come your girls don't have that mentality? Because I feel like there's always two sides to every coin, and I, I understand that men and women are different, and... We all have the same. We, we could be a completely like. I could tell. I I don't know girls that act exactly like dudes, and I know guys that look, act exactly like girls in terms of uh, emotions and everything. Yeah. So as, there's nothing wrong with them doing that. I don't think she's a hoe because she's doing that because men have done it always as well. Mm -hmm. Is a man a hoe because he does it? I don't think so. You you don't think a man's a hoe if he's fucking around with other girls? I mean, but he they know he's a he's doing that. You get me a hoe? I feel like a hoe is is a is a word for someone that does it behind people's back. And he's constantly doing it. But I don't think he's a hoe because he knows, everybody knows he's doing that. You get me? But that's exactly what I'm going to get to. Because I agree with you. Like, I agree that for, because uh, I held that same, that same thing too for a long time. For me, it was like, I consider you to be a hoe if you do something trifling. But then when I look deeper, I think, well, realistically, it's more of an emotional, like, that's more of an emotional response, right? Like, when a girl does you wrong in any sense, you're like, man, fuck that hoe. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that. Fuck her. Fuck her. That, like, that, that, that's where you just go to, you get me? You just think of the most disrespectful shit to say or whatever because you want to just, like, disregard that person's emotions, feelings, character, whatever, right? Yeah, I understand that, but I feel like, personally, I've grown beyond that point. Like, I, I have... I, but just, how, though? Because but, cause think about it. Look, think about it. I'm, you, I'm, I'm, you, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. talking. <laughs> my bad, bro, my bad. I, I, I tend to interrupt sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh -huh. So like I said, I think I've grown to the point that okay, you may have slapped, you may have done dirt to me, but at the end of the day, it's on your case. It's not on my conscience. I don't really care what you did to me because I, I know I did I did good at by your side or whatever the fuck I did whatever I did good at the point at that point. But if you did me dirty, I don't, what, what, me calling you a hoe doesn't make me feel better about myself. 
It doesn't help me at all. Or me talking bad about you doesn't help the, the subject about the situation. There's no point. I don't get a benefit from talking shit about you. That's just whack. What benefit do I get from talking shit about you? Absolutely nothing. I don't want justification from anybody. I don't what about just venting? What if you just have to vent your emotions? <laughs> so, but that, that's, but, that's but, really what that's about if you think I about could, it. But the thing is, yeah, I could be sad, but what, what do I get from calling you a hoe? What, what benefit do I get from that? What do you get from calling a girl a hoe? I mean, you don't get nothing, but some niggas just feel good. They just feel better. It's like punching a wall. Sometimes you just got to do it. Like, you just exactly. got to, you know? But I'm, I'm saying from my personal experience, in terms of... I'm glad you hit that, though, because then you break your hand when you do that. Yeah. You're but right. You're but right. the point is, I don't get anything out of it. So yeah. what, what's the point? You get me? Why, why do you think Kathy, Kathy doesn't have the... Because you've been through both sides, right? That's why I asked you. You've been through the... Like, you've experienced ain't shit girls, for sure. Yeah. But yet, you haven't kept the women ain't shit mentality. Like, no. a lot of niggas... You know, what happens to a lot of guys, right? Is you hear it all the time. I always, I always say, when it comes to relationships, there's always someone there for you. And you may think that person's for you. But they probably not. So, so you feel like what happens in these situations with guys and girls is that you get into relationships, right? Yeah. You feel or you think that this person is for you and this person is meant for you and this is supposed to be something, but then it doesn't work out, right? Because maybe you cheat or whatever. Yeah. And you're saying that maybe you cheating is really just yeah, yeah, just not meant to be. I believe so. You're yes. saying like, look, like when shit there's like no, that happens. There's no such thing as a me cheating on the person I'm supposed to be with. You get me? Because mm. that person's not supposed to be with me. Why would I cheat on someone I don't want to be with? That actually makes sense. You it get what does. I'm it does. I got you. I, got, I mean, yeah. You see, this is why probably we need a little bit more maturity here, because you enlightened a little bit for sure. <laughs> I, 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 I feel on that. Let me ask you this, Ahmed, real quick. Do you feel like though the? Well, actually, let me ask you now, because you you going through a little something. What is your mentality now, actually? What, on, on yeah, on girls. You going through a little. I mean, I don't know if you want to talk about it. It's up to you. But I'm not going through anything. I mean, what is your mentality on girls right now? You can't be. You, I don't think. It, I don't think it's right. Let's say something. Something bad happens. Here, like somebody did. Like Jason. Somebody did that on you. I don't. I don't personally don't think it's right for you to. After that, somebody did me wrong, and I'm gonna do everybody fucking wrong. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Everybody's dead, nigga. Not dead, but like I'm gonna cheat on every girl I get with. I'm bad, nice. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. But I'm gonna cheat on her. I don't really give a fuck about girls. Like. That shit can really happen. Like you, can, I don't think it's a good idea to even cheat or do any dirt on anybody because they they can flip their whole mentality around. Like, what what do you think then? Okay, so let's let's talk about this then. If we were to try to shift this mentality real quick, right? And let's try to shift the spotlight from like the ain't shit to the shit to like you the shit. How do you think, as men, men should start looking at women? Not objects, not objects. Treating them like they want to get treated. I feel like we need to stop staring at each other and stop labeling them as male and female and just label each other as people because people have these certain... I don't want to put the standards of you're a girl, so I'm going to treat you like a girl I'm, or you're a guy and I'm going to treat you like a guy. Let's keep everybody to the same standard because that, 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 that makes us different than everybody else. You, know, that, you, you, try to treat, you treat people equally at that point. You, you know, because some niggas treat girls bad because they're girls or niggas treat guys or girls treat niggas bad because they're niggas. And they have this idea of from before and stuff that 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 men own women and women are objects some men think like that not everybody but i'm saying like that idea is terrible and that's just an idea that they've always had in their head back to prehistoric times and things like that yeah you know when when i think about that though it could be it depends on what angle you go from it because for example i've always treated or at least i've always felt like i've treated both men and women equally yeah the thing is though i've meaning that like However, I treat a guy, like I clap a guy up, I be like, yo, what's good, bro, girl, what's good, like my nigga? That. I treat a girl exactly like that. I'll clap a girl up, yeah, like, yo, what's good, bro, what's good, my nigga? Like, I wouldn't, like, for a long time, I wouldn't even hug girls. Like, hug them and say hi to them, I just clap them up. Yeah. I, was, I didn't even want to be on that, like, hugging shit. You know I mean? Because I was really with the, I treat everybody the same. I feel like that's a problem, though, because we're not the same. You get what I'm saying? Like, because I get what you're saying. What you're saying is right. Like, from the point of view that you're speaking of, you're absolutely correct that we should stop trying to label people and treat them based on labels. You get me? Like, yeah. oh, if if you know, maybe you feel some type of way about girls, so you're just gonna be like, ah, oh, that's a bitch, a fucker. You get me? Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, I mean, whatever, I, whatever. I, I like, use the example of, oh, this girl cheated on me, and I'm gonna treat every girl. And now it's my turn to do girls exactly like that's terrible. Yeah. That whole aspect of the idea of doing that. Well, that's that's a bad idea. That's a bad. But way that happens. But that, that happen, but realistically, I, I, that happens. It, it does happen. That's the thing. Yeah. But the whole point of that. You, so you're gonna do what they did to you and 
I hate this is what I what But I've hurt people said. hurt people. This is what I've always said. So they've hurt me. So why would I go and make that other person that had nothing to do with it feel bad about herself just like they made me feel bad? So like let's say someone cheats on you, right? Let's they, they cheated on you, that feeling's terrible. So you're gonna go and do that to the exact same girl that has nothing to do with that? Like why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. What what do you get back from that? Uh, nothing. It, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, but you see, there's a thing though, but the problem is that sometimes what ends up happening is that, like, so for example, in my situation, right? I feel like in my situation, we both come from trauma, right? So at the beginning, I had like a very like, you know, like I wasn't sure about what was going on. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you? Yeah, I mean, like, and, and, yeah, yeah I, I was very, yeah, but because, you know, you had a it, wall it's that mentality though. You yeah. get me? It's that mentality of like, nah, man, these girls are players, especially Miami. Like to me, I'd be feeling like, if, if, to me, if you're a pretty girl in Miami, you, to me, you, you're a player, bro. Like you out here playing niggas. You get me? And the reason, the, re- the reason I be saying yeah, that is because you have too much heaven. options. Yeah. You, have, you have too many options. Like yo, if you're a really pretty girl and your Instagram is popping, bro, there's a problem. Like you nine times out of ten have a game. Yeah. No, no. It's, is that exactly? Is that that there's a problem? You're right. Is that, that there's a problem? Problem, but. That just tells me that you have a gang of motherfuckers on your DMs, right? And so this is what happens, right? Depending on the kind of guy that you're on, this is what I mean by this is where it matters, you know, based on your ego. If you're confident in yourself, you get me? Like you have real confidence in yourself, then you're not worried about the guys in the DMs, you get me? And if you trust your girl, you're definitely not worried about the the, the guys in the DMs. But I think what happens is, bro, we just lack trust off bat, you yeah. get me? Like, you know, what, what's happened... Think about this right quick, right? Yeah, Think but your 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 way of trusting people is different than mine. What do you mean? Because you 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 have you you tend to make you want people to gain your, you want them to to gain your trust. I you I have you I have trust in you until you prove me otherwise. Check it though. Check that, it. Now. We're two different aspects. Of yes, yes. It, that's exactly what I get to. I was gonna get to is that we've moved on from that, right? Like so, this whole guys and girls thing realistically just stems from trust. Yeah. So, I. Exactly what I was gonna say was I remember when I was a kid, I wouldn't like ever have like a I don't trust this person, I don't trust that person ever. Like when I was a kid, like bro, in the think about it, you go to the playground and you're playing with whoever the fuck is in the playground. You get me? Like whoever you're vibing with in the playground, that's who the fuck you're playing with. You get me? You're not going based off race or based off how tall you are, looks or anything. You get me? So you're basically trusting it 100%. You know, as we grow older, right? And we get, and we start getting put like, because think about it, at the end of the day, it's about programming, right? So as you get older, you start getting shit put into your mind, right? So the reason why I even want to bring up this men ain't shit, this women ain't shit thing is because I feel like it needs to stop for one. You get me? And like the labels need to stop at all. Even though I gave labels to the beginning about what I think what whole behavior is. Because you're right, like, the person and isn't we have necessarily to, And we have a to come to the idea that a hoe could be a guy and a girl. It's not only a girl. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I, I agree that, that guys are hoes too. You get me? For sure. Like Guys, guys could definitely be yeah, hoes too. They, the, people, the problem is people, like, people, that, people. That, that men get praised for being hoes. Yeah. You get me? So at the end of the day, there's no negative the repercussion. Whole reason men get praised for being hoes because men allow it to be to get praised. Of course. Only men are praised that. Exactly. Yeah, no, but, but girls but do women, that for each other too no, sometimes. Women, no. Women bring other women down with yeah, that too yeah, though. You get me? That, that, that's really the secret where it is. Like, no girl be like, yes, girl, you fuck 10 niggas today. All right, you're the fucking bomb. I mean, I, but that, if I'm, a nigga comes in and says, y'all don't fuck 10 girls today, your homie's gonna be like, God damn, my like, nigga. my nigga, like, you done had a <laughs> hell of a day, bro. Like, I don't even fuck 10 girls in a year. You get me? So, you, you get, yeah, you have two, year. like, <laughs> he had, a, he had like, a rough year. <laughs> 10 girls in a year. I think, that's, I think that's a lot, bro. I only hit nine. That's a lot, bro. I think that's a lot, bro. <laughs> Unless it depends, it depends, but that's a lot, bro. And, where the fuck was that? But I got lost, bro. All oh, right, right. The trusting. So, but that's exactly what I wanted to get to, though. Okay, so how do you, though, determine that, though? Because you're saying, what you're saying is that, because for me, it's not about, the the trusting comes from maybe, like, a more emotional relationship. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying trust in the, in, the, in the terms of a relationship. But, like, I have no, I have, like, if right. we're dating, okay, we're dating. I trust you, you automatically trust yeah, 100%. I, I trust you. 100%. So you'll tell her everything, no problem. No, it's not about telling, but when trust isn't about that, it's like you... I understand you're trying to confine in them, but that that girl, that comes out of nowhere. You, I don't tell people my business. Like every, like my past has nothing to do with the present. So why right. would I come and tell you about my past? Unless other but sometimes I, it does. If you ask me, of course I'll tell you. Like there's nothing. To, well, no, no, your past doesn't have to do with your present. Though. Yeah. It affects the decisions you make in the present. Yeah, but that, that's what. But, but why would I need to do that now? You get me? Why, well, because unless you're you try to take me, precautions. Unless you ask me. Like but but let me ask you. Okay, so you you go. So f- say first relationship, right? You go out with a girl. She yeah. breaks your heart. You're fucked up. How do you go on to the second relationship giving her all the trust again? Like, how do you go about that if you're all fucked up? But that's the thing. 
I already told you that the only reason I'm at this point in my life is because I failed that relationship. You understand? Mm -hmm. I can't come to this knowledge of my life right now if I hadn't already failed at what I've done in my past relationships. You get me? Mm -hmm. You can't understand relationships if you've never been in one. Yeah. I hate when people come and they try to give you advice about a relationship when they've never been in fucking one. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Oh, how long have, have you ever been with a girl longer than a few years? Mm -hmm. And then be like, nah, I've only dated a girl for six months. So why the fuck are you telling me about a relationship about a relationship that's been together for five, six years? You don't even know how to wipe your ass. Yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. be real with you. Yeah. So why the fuck are you telling me shit? Yeah. If you've been with your girl, if you've been married for 20, 25 years, I, motherfucker, I want to listen to what the fuck you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, I, okay. Uh, most, most people would. Most people would. But, but okay, but hold up, hold up, hold up. I understand that though, but that's what I'm saying though. But okay, say a guy comes to you, right, and says, Yo, Jay, I was with a girl. She cheated on me, bro, with my best friend. You get me? Fucked me up, bro, emotionally. I haven't dated for two years. I met this girl. I kind of vibe with her, but I don't know if I want to fuck with her. Like, I don't know if I trust her. I don't know if I can get into her. What would you, say, what would you tell him? Mm. Like, from, from your experience. And to, if, if, you're fucked up, if you're still fucked up, then you shouldn't be dating. Because you're mm. fucked up. Why are you gonna bring your old past into yeah. a new relationship? You get me? Because then you're holding that her, you're holding that girl to the same the standards of that other girl. You're comparing your ex mm. to your new girl, and that's you never compare your ex to your new girlfriend. You don't compare people because they're two different people. Mm. That's where people have the biggest mistakes about relationships. Why am I comparing you to my ex when you're my new girlfriend? Stop doing that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that that's a good point, but I mean, we're not gonna say it, that. That doesn't mean that like you're not gonna have those issues or stressors. How do you feel like you heal from those things? How did you heal from those well, things? Uh, time, uh, time heals it. all wounds. All wounds. Yeah, time, all you wounds. really, you really feel that? Honestly, way? all it does. That's all you can do. Time heals all wounds, and you have to heal yourself. You have time. You have to take time. Re look at yourself. Look at. You're not broken, so stop acting like you're broken. Mm. But okay, but okay. L let me ask you this though, right? You're heartbroken. Uh -huh. You're fucked up emotionally, yeah. right? Yeah. You don't now. You don't probably trust girls. Cause that's usually what happens, yeah. right? Like the next relationship you're going to, you probably gonna dog a girl, like yada yada yada. How do you get to a place though where you build that trust again? Like how do you get to that? Like how do you heal that? Like you're saying you heal yourself in this time, but what do you what are you saying though? You're just saying that you just like go through life and you'll eventually get over it, or are there actions that you actually have to do, or were you advised to do? I mean, you should, I, honestly, what I would do is focus on myself. Discover yourself before you discover anybody else. You can't love someone unless you love yourself. Learn to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm, a, lot of people, a lot of people go into relationships and don't even love themselves. They, they come, they put, they, they're, they, they're not even happy with their own life. So why are you going to, you're going to go into a relationship and, and, and put, you look at this person and be like, this is my happiness. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you're not even happy yourself. So, and when that person leaves, what's going to happen? You're going to be sad again? So, so you're saying we shouldn't even be leaning on these people for happiness. Well, yet again, like I always said, you shouldn't lean on a person because when that person falls, pulls back, you're going to fall fl flat on your face. Mm, that, that makes sense. Okay, now well, let me ask you this though, right? So you're saying that from, from the angle of trust, right? Correct. And from the angle of already being healed up, how do you still get to that place though where you feel like, okay, you know what, maybe I am ready for this. You're saying like once you find that love within, because I agree with you, I feel like you do need to love yourself in both cases, right? Men definitely need to love themselves a lot more. You get me? We're told we all have, this. Men have very fragile issues when that women don't really understand, but when women touch it, that shit hurts. <laughs> yes. You mean like the, the fragile ego, in other words. Anything, yes. anything can hurt a man and they just act like that. Oh, that shit don't hurt me. Yeah, nah, yeah, I'm yeah, tough. Yeah. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. If, if your girlfriend tells you you got a small dick, that shit gonna hurt. That shit hurt. That shit make me cry. That shit, that shit, that shit make me. Cry. Oh, if she hits you with that, he had a bigger dick. I'm like, nah. I'm, uh, first of all, we gotta break up. We're breaking <laughs> up. We gotta break, yeah, we gotta break <laughs> I'm, up. I'm done. That's an immediate break. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Look. I ever hear, I ever hear that? That's an immediate break up, G. His dick was bigger. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, that's an immediate break up. Yeah. You gotta break up, bro. You're in denial, off rip. You're like, Why? nah. Nah, get the fuck out of here. Nah, no I way, get the denial. fuck out. You're I wouldn't be denied. Nah, no, you're, automa you're automatically accepting that. I could, yeah, I would. Yeah, I gotta accept that one, bro. <laughs> if you're, if my girl to tell me, you, so wait, wait, you'll be in denial. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm saying you'll be in denial because it's like you wouldn't believe it. Like, nah, 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 would nah. you be in denial? Nah, hell no. Nah, this nigga has to have a big. You'll be in denial. You gotta have a big. Dick. I would too. I'd be like, damn, <laughs> bro, this nigga right here. Bro. Yeah, nah, damn it. You know what? Let's talk about that real quick. Okay, because so, it's actually a no, really don't good. Sw don't switch the topic. Let's end with this. End this conversation and then move on to the next. Yes, one. yes, yes. You're right. You're right. Okay, so just to break it down, right? Because we we are going from I think she's a hoe to she's not a hoe, right? So let's just end it there, right, real quick. Why do y'all think she isn't a hoe? I don't. I honestly don't think she's a hoe because she, she just doesn't want anything. 
You don't think she wants like any relationship? She doesn't want a relationship. She but she says she does. She says she wants to look like it. She just wants to look. Every guy, it's all about perspective in the mirror, in, the, in this new modern Talk to me age. about the perspective. Perspective, because it's like Instagram. When you look at Instagram, everybody looks happy. But in reality, they're not. Most of them. It's all bullshit. Let's talk about mm, the guy. Let's talk that's about. That's a fucking good point. Let's talk about that relation. Let's talk about that pastor, the Hillsong pastor. It was caught cheating on his wife. Blah yeah. blah blah. Well, how does Instagram look? What it's like? He looked great, happy. That's Everything looked true. great. Yeah, yeah. How about the gospel singer, the black gay man? That's a gospel singer that right, I right, called right. recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they could, he, they call him with a man kissing and stuff. Yeah. He looked straight. He was singing gospel music. Why, why did anybody think he was gay? They know what anybody know. <laughs> Shit, I ain't gonna lie, it's a fucking good ass point of view though. It's all about perspective. Yeah, 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 everybody yeah, yeah. wants to look rich. Yeah, like yeah, just yeah. like in Miami, everybody wants to look like they have money, right? Yeah. Everybody's broke out here. Yeah. Ain't nobody rich out here like that. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Keep Actually, your keep keep your your cheap ass gold chain that you 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 making monthly payments on and your yeah, cheap ass yeah. car that you're making monthly payments on. I don't wanna hear it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No, you're right. At you're the right. end of the day, that shit don't affect me. I mean, you know what? At, at the end of the day, I, I guess I guess you are right in that sense, especially the Instagram like perspective. Um, the example you gave for the perspective, you actually really, it is it is it is really a, a point of perspective. And I guess at the end of the day, your choice really li- relies on that. You know, I mean? like if you think somebody is this because of whatever they did, because again, I'm and the reason I did this is more to play devil's advocate, right? Because I'm I'm a one of the people that will always say like, bro, I feel like girls need to have a whole face, right? The reason for that is because so of that girl? shit. This is the thing, bro. This is where it gets messy, right? And this is why I say there's I play devil's advocate for a reason because um, if, but then don't play for women. No, let's let's do this. Let's act like you were the guy. Let's act like you were a guy, but a girl version. Right, right, let's right. Let's talk about you. Yeah, but that okay. Go ahead. That's so, a question. So so let's say you go. You have a whole face. Does that help you? Yes. And, and no. what? In what sense? Uh, you want me to hear? You want to hear the yes or the no part? Get, get, let's start with the no first. Okay. So this is where no, right? So. Because I come from a spiritual background, it gets messy because now that I have a girl, I realize, like, yo, all these other girls, like, realistically, all these other girls, because if we go down to the comparing shit, you know, is, is going to be a good thing in a way, right? Because to me, like, my girl is better than any uh, other uh, chick uh, or uh, anything okay. I don't ever, yeah, exactly, like, ever, you get me? Like, she just, like, to me, she's, like, at the top of the mountain, you get me? hands down though like that's not even like a like a second thought <laughs> exactly no but i'm saying like for me it's not even like a second thought it's not like oh this girl's kind of nah like to me it's just nigga it ain't no comparison you get me so that that's like i guess a quote-unquote good reason right because i get to compare i guess what's out in the world and it eliminates my curiosities now you get me now i'm not like 40 years old 50 years old married with kids wondering damn like what is it like clubbing and fucking girls randomly not, not that i've done that but i'm just saying like in, in as an example yeah don't incriminate yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. As, a, <laughs> as an example as an example you know what i'm saying that's all i'm saying so so, <laughs> so as an example that's all i'm saying so now check it wait wait check it though check it i know he did something up. now check it now this is why i say no right because in the spiritual sense the minute you start talking about being spiritual and you start talking about like you know, the trust and the emotional aspects, it fucks you up. Because now you realize, yo, like, I didn't need the trauma or the advice or the experiences with these people to begin with. Because they were just selfish experiences. You get me? It was me trying to, like, soak my ego in, for sure. It was me trying to uh, get to this, like, gratifying pleasure. You get me? And it was a lot of me thinking that I was missing out on something. You get me? The whole FOMO shit, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I had, I was in church my entire life, basically. You get me? Middle school, high school, virgin, summer college. And I felt like at one point, I was like, damn, like, I'm not in, I'm not going to church anymore. I was, you know, starting to, like, kind of Sway. Exactly, sway from that. In the aspect of in, in that aspect, exactly. And then so I was kind of lost in that sense. I, I didn't even look at that anymore. So now I'm over here like on this other on this other playing field. I'm you know I'm trying to like oh go out, play with the yeah exactly. I'm out. I'm trying to play around, uh, fuck fuck around with girls, whatever whatever the dumb ass shit that I was doing at the time. That shit to me when I look now I'm like and now I'm in a relationship. I'm like damn that shit did not help at all though, bro. Like if anything that shit made shit worse because. You you really try to because again I, again I'm one of those people that definitely believe in soul ties and shit like that. Again, like you are mixing in something that we don't quite have a a, yeah, a, a good on. understanding. Yeah, like this is the thing we really have convinced ourselves right that sex is only physical and, and it's only a, pleasurable and not emotional and not or emotional spiritual. or spiritual. 
and that's one big ass foolish decision that Mistake. we fucking made. Yeah, like yeah. everybody says it. Oh no, man, this is just pleasure. I just want to feel good. You know, this this doesn't mean nothing. This is just sex. Yeah. No, but it means much more than that. You get what I'm saying? Like it's it, it's it's something that's much deeper and like something that I had I didn't realize until I got into a serious relationship. You get me? That made me realize. Well, that shit fucks up. Cause now check it out. If you're because a lot of us have insecurities. So just like you said, if your girl says, just think about that. You don't want your girl fucking nobody ever. So the fact that your girl has fucked anybody else, you don't even want those niggas alive in the world anymore. You're like, what the fuck? Like, I fuck those niggas. You get me? Because that's your fucking girl. <laughs> delete. It's like, delete uh, everybody. Delete them niggas, God. Delete them. And, 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 and that's what ends up happening. You know, you could become insecure through that. Because now, if you were to ever get a peek at like maybe some of the guys your girl dated or like how they are, what they do for a living, shit and like that. Then you hold yourself at a standard. Like, why is she with me when she had niggas like this or she, or this or she had or he had girls like that? Or exactly. This. So now I I obviously right. I'm gonna. Um, I I you know there's another thing. I honestly believe that you should never tell your ex, your girlfriend who the fuck you date because that shit ruins everything. Listen, but <laughs> that shit, my girl it. is persistent, <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> And I don't have to have some hard conversations, right? No. Yeah, I don't have some hard conversations. You got to hit it with the, the solid. No. No, but it's the thing. That we don't have some hard conversations that we shouldn't have ever had to begin with. Like, if I would have never been in those positions, we would have never been having those conversations anyways. And the reason why we have those conversations, I've had those conversations because I didn't want to at first, but I didn't want to because I didn't want what happened in the past to affect what we got going on right now. You get what I'm saying? And usually it does. You get me? It, it could be for the worse. It could be for the better, right? Depending on the state that your girl or the guy is in. You get me? Whether they're confident in themselves or not. Because it all comes down to that. It all comes down to how you feel about you. Like you're talking about. If you love yourself, then you're not relying on your girl loving you. You love yourself. You get me? So you're not relying on that love to come from another source. So it's fine if your girl has done some other shit. You're like, all right, cool. Like, that, that was your past, and now you done got with something better, obviously. You get me? <laughs> Big T. For you. Right <laughs> but, but, but essentially, that's what it is, though. You get me? Even, look, your girl could have been with, like, a super millionaire or whatever. Fucking, the but guy could give her the whole world, but maybe he was empty inside. He was a show. I'm, I'm he a, was an asshole. You get me? A, yeah. He didn't offer any type of emotional support. And maybe your girl, that's exactly what she craves. That's exactly what she wants. Because most women do. Like you said, but I, I, I think you said that shit perfectly. We're talking privately one time, and you said, yo, girls nowadays, they don't necessarily want a nigga with a lot of money. They just want like companionship. They want a partner, right? And with that, obviously, you need to have some kind of income coming in. You get me? Like to, at least. And again, I've always said this: girls. I feel like I feel like you guys need to just match in the in the terms yeah. of income. Just exactly. Match. Right, I right, mean, right, if she right, makes right. a little bit more, it's fine. If cool. she make a little bit, be less, in the ballpark. You need to be in the ballpark. Yeah. You need to be in the same ballpark. In other words, yeah. Let's be real. You're not dating Ooh. Kylie Jenner making twenty thousand dollars a year. No, you're not. She's gonna look at you and be like, because Kylie you're not Jenner in blows twenty thousand dollars in one bag. You're not in. The, you're not in the same tax bracket. Let's think no, about. Yeah, it. You want to sure. be in the same time. That, but yeah, but it, exactly because the lifestyles are different. You get me? But but I, I get you. But th that's why I would say yes and no. You get me? Is yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's and I'm sorry. Did you say it was a bad thing, right? Like whether you have a whole phase or not, right? That was the initial question. No, I know. I just said you said no. No, but, you, but, but what was the question, though? Yeah, but you, you're the question, though. What was the question you again? Said you said, did you go through a whole phase? You oh, said, yeah, 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 yeah. And what are the, and what are the good things that yeah. came from it and the bad exactly, things? Exactly, exactly. And so that my yes, the yes is, you know, was it bad or not, right? Yes is bad because now that I'm in a serious relationship, those are things that you kind of have to have a discussion with about sometimes, you get me? And you start to realize that, like, yo, those relationships weren't something that was supposed to be truly fulfilling. You get me? It was something that I was selfishly doing. And you get me? So it helped me recognize and realize that what I was doing shit, was 100% selfish. I, shit, imagine you were abstinent for a few years. Like for you chose yeah. it. And it was like you felt empty at that point. Uh, yeah. And now, now that you have a girlfriend, it's like, that. I really don't... Like, I but love But that's, ex that's exactly <laughs> what it was. It's completely different because you were just having uh, sex, regular exactly. sex. Exactly. You weren't having... You weren't loving the, the, the Exactly. There was no real intimacy. There was no real connection. There was nothing to like... Be of real fulfillment. Yeah. Like, for example, like like now, right? Like, for me, bro, like, I feel more fulfilled laying in bed with my girl watching a movie, like, you know, vibing, than, like, yeah, than it's to be out there doing anything. Exactly. Because that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I've, I've, I've definitely for sure switched on. You get me? It's, it's a different vibe. I'm not trying to be out there and, like, you know, doing the same dumb shit that I was doing before. You get me? So, for sure. But you're right. We're about to get into what? We're about to get into ED? Talk about ED, bro. You brought ED up. I want to hear this, bro. Come on. Come on. I want to hear about this. 
You know how embarrassing it is. Have you? First of all, nah, never. Have you ever been? Nah, but I'm always never. ready to go. Ever, Listen, ever, ever, never, never, never not even ne- like a little bit. Nah, not even, not even. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. ED What's for ED? ED is short for erectile dysfunction. Okay, it's a serious thing that yeah, does happen to young this. men. Yeah, yeah, yeah happens to you. older men, obviously. But you know, there's certain solutions for that. But it does happen to some young men. Which yeah, is really fucking yeah, yeah. bad and really fucking embarrassing to the point where men don't even aren't willing even willing to talk about it. it's like not even brought up in a conversation. They won't even address the okay, situation. Tell you what, because we're in dick talk, right? We're in dick talk mode. So let's do this. You ever had ED ever? You ever had ED ever? Never. Okay. Nah, bro. But have you ever came fast? Yeah. Like way too fast. Yeah, way too fast. You, you came fast before? Fast. I think everybody's. Huh? I think that's pretty normal. I think everybody's. How fast? fast? How fast did you say? Fast, nigga. I don't but like, in minutes or seconds? Thirty seconds. Thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. I'm think, about I there. Think. How many? Talk on the mic. How, how many? Put your lips on the mic, honey. Put your lips on the mic. Put your lips on the mic, honey. Man, I said, I said like five, six minutes. Five. Six, that's not that fast, Jay. That's like a quickie. Jay, that's a quickie, that's Jay. Fast. Jay, that's a quickie, bro. That's me fast. Jay, what? what what's your average, like you know, duration normally? I say like 10, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. 10 Normally minutes. 10 to 12 minutes? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know. I'm no, just but um, it's just a time. It's I used to time that, that shit. It's mentally. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, when, when I was younger, like my first, yes, when I was younger, I used to look at my I used to look at my phone, right? I used to look at my phone because this, this is what I used to think back in the day. When I was younger, yeah, I didn't I've know never, no better. I've never had seconds. The fuck? Huh? I've never done seconds. This is like new. Oh, you never had sex twice? No, like, like seconds, 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 seconds. I've never came in seconds. Oh, in seconds. Got you. Oh, yeah. no, I definitely came in seconds, but for sure. <laughs> But you know, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, for sure, for sure. Him, she hit him with the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely happened to me. But it's happened to me though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, ha- it's, ha- it's happened to me in in funny cases. But this I was gonna ask though, when you came quick, do you come up with the excuse be f- after you come fast or when you know you about to come fast? Like, you ever think about the excuse? Like, how does that shit work in your head, bro? Have you ever thought about that shit for a minute? Nah, bro, it's just, uh, I got too excited, bro. So we, you just give me a couple minutes and we go back at it again, But you bro. know, though, right? But you know when you're about to come, though. Like, like you, like, oh, fuck, that's, I can't stop this. It's too late. It's fuck too late. It. It's fuck too late. It. Like, it's, it's happening. Yeah. Fuck it. Abort, abort. It's none of that happening. What's the excuse that you use? Nah, nigga, I don't know. I mean. You never said nothing? I mean, I was I like, bro, just give me a excuse. couple minutes. I got too excited. Just. We'll go back at yeah, it again. Yeah. Just oh, give me serious? a couple minutes. You and you? What have you said? I want another <laughs> list of excuses. <laughs> no, I, I need another list of it. excuses. Yo, it's because I'm tired. You know? I, 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 hold up, hold up. I haven't been drinking water. <laughs> I use that one. I use that one. <laughs> you lie. Yeah, you lie. Like what does water like? have to do with that? You yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> what? Try to have sex dehydrated. Watch how fast you come. I, no, I don't Watch think how I, fast I, you come. Nah, bro. No way, bro. For real? I swear. Try to do it. Yo, go play basketball one day. Fucking dehydrate. Don't drink no fucking water and go see what happens that day. Go see no what way, that day. bro. I don't know. Swear to God. Swear to God. Look, you know what happens to me? When I'm not So when hydrated, you're bloated, you last long? Is that what you're telling me? Nah, bro, because that's different. When you bloated, it ain't necessarily like you bloated out of water weight necessarily. You get me? Like, being bloated is because you probably have too much sodium. You get me? Like, you, you just start puffing up. You get me? That's what your body does. What I'm trying to get at, and obviously, this is not no fucking science shit, right? So, I don't I don't know this is true, but I know that when I've been dehydrated, this is for bro, sure. This is bro logic. Yeah, it's bro logic. Bro, bro science. Logic. Bro so science. So this is, I'm down. Okay? This is we literally me. Here. This is me catching an L and trying to save my ass. Yes. Yes. Yo, listen. I, I've had to I've had to do things. I've had, I've had from everywhere from, like, shit, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've gone from there. I got from it is what it is, like yo, this should be happening to all the way to like, I I just ain't had no water today, like I, I, my just, man, ain't I just had no I water just today. Had no water today. Yeah, like sometimes it's just one of them days, like. That's what Nate Robbins is doing. Boy, that's just, bro. <laughs> you know what? Let's not switch that topic because I wanted to get to that right now. <coughs> but yeah, we did, we did, we did. But but that's that's like one of the, bro. That's one of those things, bro. I feel like at least for me, like when I feel, cause I know the days, bro. There's just days where like. Bro, this shit ain't gonna work out today, bro. So you gotta do a lot of extra shit. You know, you gotta do a lot of extra shit. You gotta pull out. You gotta go do extra shit. You gotta go down and eat her out real quick or whatever bullshit you gonna do. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, get you, gotta rest. you gotta recover. You gotta, gotta recover. Gotta you gotta recover. You gotta, you know, focus on. But your you gotta breathing. play it off. You can't make it. You of can't make course. it seem like. Of course, you, have to you can't make it seem like. Hey, but what are you that, doing? That's what, but. And do those times when I have those days, I'm like, fuck. You know, you're trying to like make shit pop off, make shit pop off, but it's not. It's just not working out. 
my nigga, listen, bro. When that shit happens to me, bro, there's not a doubt in my mind that I'm already coming up with like a million excuses while I'm in it. Like I'm already like, oh shit, what I'm about to say, bro. Or like, or, like I be trying to think of shit to do to deviate. Like, so I be like, wait, wait, my leg hurt, my leg hurt. Cause sometimes my knee really be fucked up. I'm about to cramp up. You know, you about to cramp up. I had the yeah, I'm about to catch a cramp. I'm about to catch a cramp. Oh, yeah. you got it. That's a that's a saver. You never caught a cramp? Yo, yo. That one, that one saves you. You got huh? You got you, you know why? You stay hydrated, bro. That's what it is. He, he, you know, you know what it is? He's, he's Dominican, so he eat a lot of platanos. It's a lot of ah, potassium. potassium. That's true. <laughs> Yo, that makes sense, bro. That makes sense. I don't think I've ever cramped up to a point where I'm like, ah, oh, hold up, hold up, ah, 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 like, I got to stop and no, shit. I, bro, there's definitely, I don't think bro, I've ever my knee popped out like one time. That's During sex, bad, I swear to God, bro. bro. So that's, that's like, like that's like sports injury, bro. Bad, that's bro. what I'm. That's what I said, bro. I had to literally like towards ACL getting it in, <laughs> bro. I had to be like, wait, 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 stop, hey, fuck stop, it, fuck it, fuck it. I'll take First it. Listen, I'll take it. Listen, I'll take if it. you tear your ACL having sex, my nigga, I'll you, take it. You, you man, the Olympics of sex, bro. Yeah, you gotta bro. be a porn star, cause, bro. I never forget that shit too, bro. Cause you, y'all know my knee be popping out, right? So popping that bitch back in. But the funniest thing, and this is how I know niggas just don't give a fuck about nothing, bro. <laughs> my knee is out of place. Listen, listen. My knee came out of place, and I didn't give a fuck. I was still going at it until I Dedication. realized. Dedication. Dedication. No, no, until I realized, oh shit, this shit really starting to fucking hurt. I was like, all right, wait, 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 wait. So I took a. Few, but I'm telling you, I was in here for like a little minute until I realized, all right, bro, if I don't pop this shit back in, bro, this shit about to be done. Like, this, I'm about to get my leg amputated that's, or something. You know what that is? That shit feel bad, bro. You know what that is? That's, <laughs> that's that caveman in us. That's that. You know, nah, nah. Think about it, bro. Think about nah, it. You know what it is? Nah, that's, I didn't want to fuck up the rhythm. You know, when you when you get a rhythm, especially with girls, you know how girls are, man. Girls are, not all girls, but you know, mostly girls are very complex. You get me? To try to get them, you know what I'm saying, to that spot. So when you're in rhythm, it's very difficult. Like, I, I mean, at least for me, I don't want to fuck up that rhythm. When I'm in rhythm, I don't want to fuck up the rhythm. Nigga, but let me tell you something. But I had to suffer through that motherfucker right there. But let's be let's be real, bro. Once, if you stop, <laughs> like, if you stop having sex, that shit's not going to be the same. Nah, She's so not going to be into it like that. The first, like, when you first got it, we're going, you know? Nah, you know, you know, oddly enough for me, bro, I feel like every time I abstain, like, let's say I abstain, and I end up going, like, you know, back into it, I don't ever feel like, I always feel like I last longer like that. Oh, you stopping and going again? Yeah, like, I, I know, I, right? I've abstained before, yeah. you get me? And, like, I've abstained, like, got back into it, and, like, I've abstained for months, you get me? Like, months at a time. And I feel like when I get back into it, it's not, you know, like, again, because I guess we are young and some guys do have the ED thing, right? I mean, look, the closest thing ED's ever happened to me is second round. What? Like, round two comes along, and I ain't really trying to get it popping, but you know you got to fix it because you came way too fast the first time. No, you know. So you, you got to make you it know, up on round you know, two. You start dating the girl, and, and then she, you, you fuck, right? And then you see, she's like, oh, you got to give me round two. And you got, yo, I got to perform. If I don't perform, you're not coming back. Is. That's exactly <laughs> what it is, though, bro. Actually, I, let me ask you something. Do I, you think about that with your girl? What? About performing? If you with somebody already, I don't. I think it's just like, all right, bro. Look, I get you. Like, you can't. You compromise with the person. All right, I didn't perform in this area, but I got you in this other area. You. But feel do me? you say that or do you just do it? It's just a do thing. It's like, uh, like, all right, look, I know. Yeah, like I know. I didn't give you hundred percent. I know, hey, bro, I was tired. God, <laughs> I was God, dehydrated. Make up. I I'll make you. up for it right here on this spot right here. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Yeah, you see, he's right. <laughs> he's just right. So wait, so yeah, so let me get this right. Y'all have never told y'all girl though, yo, I done, I done fucked up tonight. I got you tomorrow. Like y'all done ever said some shit like that? Tomorrow, gotcha. Y'all niggas oh, no, smart. No, 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 y'all some I, smart no, niggas. No, I hit the, I, 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 no, I, I, gotcha. I gave, I, you know, I gave her the dub one time. Like, you, you beat me tonight, but I'm going to beat your ass tomorrow. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo. Wait, you know wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Say that shit again one more time. Repeat that shit again one more time. That shit sounded too gangster. You said what? I got, I caught the L tonight, but tomorrow I'm gonna beat, beat your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. Listen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, when you wanna know when a nigga's really been defeated during sex and when he's he says some defeated. shit like this, he's been defeated. He says, Listen, but you know, this, this is the time where you know you're not know, cleaned up already. You're kind of laying in bed, a little bit silent. You just tip over real quick, like, <clears throat> hey baby. <laughs> Real prideful too. Real prideful. <laughs> hey baby. <laughs> Put hey, your baby. man voice on. I fucked up today. I ain't gonna lie. But tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, I'm gonna beat your ass. 
I'm going to beat your ass. Nigga, that's how I know you were defeated, my nigga. Who tells a girl I'm going to beat your ass after you done nothing too fast? That's that bitch you can say, man, fuck your pussy. That shit done made me come way too motherfucking quick. Now I'm going to beat that nigga's ass tonight, nigga. Nah, hell yeah, nah, bro. Yeah, this yo, nigga give tripping. me like five minutes, bro. I'm going to go wash my face. Correct. Let me get some water. Let me, let get, me, some, let me get some. Let, no, let, let, me, let me get some water. Let me get a, a, a moist towel real quick so I can dab. So I can dab. A towelette. A towelette. A towelette. So I may dab real quick. Yo, y'all niggas crazy, bro. How long have we been recording, bro? Uh, like an hour now? I don't know. It's like 420. Listen, man, I'm done with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas, y'all 420 niggas <laughs> You know what the problem is that you so, can get away with that with your girl. You I could. swear to God. You, you could. can get away with that you shit could. with your girl. Actually. But when it's somebody you doing that shit with the first time for, or even the second time or the third time. You gotta perform 100 Every nigga performed nigga. the first time. 100 percent B. Performed the first no, time. no excuse. No you excuse. Know, you know what's funny? I never used to do that though. At first. Nah, George, I you just I came out. I s- bro, I promise you, bro, before before being ready for anything. Yeah, yeah, I know for I fact. had that mentality of like, <laughs> fuck it. Bro. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me not incriminate myself no more, bro. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm trying to save you here. Ahead, please, Shut the fuck bro, up. Please. <laughs> I'm tossing the alley oop, alley oop. <laughs> Go ahead. That's Grab the alley oop, please. I, I, I swatted this shit right now. This <laughs> nigga. Uh huh. So, okay, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Yo, like that first time, bro. I'm gonna look like a fuck. I'm looking like yeah. Kobe in the playoffs, bitch. Yeah, I'm bro. shooting every three. For sure. <laughs> I'm taking all the shots, nigga. I don't give a fuck. No, nope. yep. every shot, bitch. You ha- you know what? It's funny though, but now I, and then you can't cu- you gotta you gotta you gotta last at least like a good time the first time you can't be you know what? Like, you what, what's what's a good time for you the as first a man time? Like, yeah as a man what do you think is a good time for both of y'all to be like all right this is a good time like after this time it's too much now, what do you feel is a what good time mean? for sex like the every, first time like or like, like actual listen, 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 actual intercourse fuck foreplay fuck all that shit right because that has a time of its own actual intercourse like how long do you feel like intercourse should last. For both of y'all, because for niggas, list for niggas, it could be a minute, but niggas will come like this. Yeah, but I'm I'm not. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. For for on average, like the first time, bitch, you better do at least like. Fuck first time, just in general. In general, I'll say like 20 minutes. You think 20 minutes? 20, 25 minutes. I say 20. 20 minutes average. a little stretch, but 20 minutes, eh. <laughs> Wait, 20 minutes of straight intercourse or like just straight fucking? Like no, 20 no, minutes you know of straight fucking? No, that's what I'm saying. Just, I'm talking about straight fucking, like just straight up fucking. I'm what do you think is a good time? 10 15 minutes is good. 10 to 15 minutes straight fucking, yeah, though? Bro. That's a lot, bro. <laughs> what else is there to do? Because, yo, my nigga, no, think yeah, about it. If you're doing all, a lot of foreplay, a, you don't he, got to do he, too much like intercourse. Virgin. He don't know what the fuck going on before. Uh, you feel he me? He just goes straight to pound it. Nah, that's what I'm trying to get at. That boy, dry coochie going there. Okay, okay. How long is foreplay? That how boy long, gripping wait, wait. skin. <laughs> how, first of all, God, how long is foreplay for you? Like five, six minutes. Okay, so you take you take. I'm shorter. not timing this shit though. Yeah. This no. is I, I could mean, be completely head, fucking that's what wrong. Saying, in your head. So, do you feel you take longer foreplay or an intercourse? Intercourse, for off the bat. I I think I do too, but I feel like that's wrong, bro. That's that's your ass. Nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, nah, not really, cause first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minutes, we've been 15 minutes in this fourth I'm not even gonna. <laughs> be, nah, I'm I'm gonna type a nigga be like he'll be like I'm tired of eating pussy. <laughs> we gotta get into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even it's not even that. It's just hey, bro. I'm we're done. We're wait, done. wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this nigga stupid. It's not bro. even about that. It's just. Imagine kissing, touching, hugging, yeah. rubbing. It's like yeah, he do, you do. Kissing, touching, hugging, like, and rubbing. You got a song? It's a song. It's hugging a song. Hugging and rubbing. Nigga. You feel me? I got you. I see what you, you doing. You do that shit for twenty. It's like, bro, all right. When we gonna get in it? Because uh, you know what I'm saying. We've been rubbing for how long, bro? But I don't know. But I, I only I only ask that question because I don't I don't know if anybody's ever ever really thought about it. like how long should sex actually last. Like I, I feel like when we're you young, know, we just you, think the if longer you ask, the better. If you ask, the longer like, hold the better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you ask any regular nigga out there, when I come, I'm done, dog. That's it. It's over. That's just, yeah, a regular nigga be like, as soon as I come, I'm done, dog. That's yeah, it. Don't yeah, touch yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'm going on the other side. All right, you're right. Any regular regular nigga out there? After you come, what do you do? What do I do? Yeah, yeah. I go clean up immediately. <laughs> immediately. I'm on that. No, niggas. but no. I know. So you get up quick, like right after you. I'm not done. No, I'm not, and immediately go to the bathroom. And you? Immediately, nigga. 
Hmm. Me, I got a no, clean up, G. This nigga has, one of y'all niggas got to be like. No, I swear. Cause I swear, bro. One of y'all niggas got to be like the hugger or nah, the, or nah, the nah, I, nah, I love nah, you, baby. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, yeah, some lying ass nigga. I swear, but I swear y'all, to y'all God, Y'all really bro. not trying to incriminate. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you got to clean up, bit dog. You got to clean up. You can't nut on your girl or some shit like that. You just want to just <laughs> hug and shit. You can't do that. Yeah. What the fuck? That niggas, I'm not gonna say nothing, bro. Fuck y'all niggas. What you mean? Oh, so you gonna ask us? You're not gonna say nothing. Now. So what do you do? Wait, what do you? So what do you do? Hug him, hug him. So right after, so you use condoms or no? Nah. You're gonna birth control? Oh, you one of them niggas. Yeah, so it's on me. You be shooting the club? Oh, y'all be shooting the club up? Y'all shoot the club up? <laughs> this, this, this is a drive by. No, this shit. You shoot the club up, bro. You got look at his face. So you use condoms? You like a bitch. You use condoms? What do you nut? What do you nut? Okay, okay, you nah, just pull he, out. He, got nah, you. He's lying. Listen, but I, that's I thought everybody was doing. I don't, I'm too scared. I'm too, nah, I've done it. But I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Yo, I'm too scared I, of yo, that. Well, out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you to stop spitting on me, bro. Cause I'm, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. No, hold up. Think about this real quick, though, right? For for one fucking minute, right? If you're not shooting up the club. And you having sex and you pull out, you're gonna fucking clean up first. Nick, I know niggas. Clearly, that I know another nigga that that he would have sex right, and who just throw himself on the bed be like, yo, go get me a Coca Cola. Nah, 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 I nah, nah. I swear nah. to God, yeah, <laughs> nah. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of gangster. Bro. I ain't gonna, that's kind of gangster. Yeah, it is. That's a little baller. Bro, you nut, and the first thing you do is say, yo, go get me a Coke, bro. That's how you know you fucked up the pussy. That's how you know you done fucked up the pussy for real. No, man, no, no, you know, you know, you know, you know My nigga, if you ain't do nothing, bro, that's fucked up. You know crazy? You know crazy? My dog thought he was doing shit, but he wasn't doing shit. Oh, he one of them, nigga. Oh, okay, now, never mind. That ain't gangster no more. It was gangster. It sounded gangster. You can't even lie. It should did sound a little gangster. A little bit, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. All right, but... Y'all done with dick talk? I'm done with dick talk, yo. Yeah, I'm tired of talking about my dick, too. <laughs> where, where are we going after this? Can we where, stop where incriminating we ourselves? Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this, bro. I hope my girl don't watch this podcast, bro. I, I pray to God she don't watch this shit. I, I had, nah, she don't watch a podcast like yeah, that. If I like, ever become rich and famous, this is all a lie. This shit never happened. Yeah. Everything nah, I said here was a lie. I, was, I don't <laughs> mind. I got lawyers backing me up. This shit ain't real. <laughs> You can't prove it. There's no evidence. Yeah, I'm not incriminating tripping, my goddamn bro. self. What we got over here? I, I think we hit two. Look, we, good, we gotta bro. hit comfort up real quick. You know what? Comfort and struggle. You wanna hit it one more time? Comfort and struggle. We never hit it. Nah, nah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, th- I think we good, but I think we th- we did off all right right now. I think we done the vlog. This is the one we curse at. This is the one we don't. We, yeah, we do bad yeah. things on. We talk shit that we're not supposed to do. Yeah, it's not man. family oriented. Yeah, at all, at all, man. This, this, all right, man. So I, I think I think we learned pretty good, pretty good shit today, bro. So far, so far we learned you gotta love yourself for one. That's 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 gonna be number one. Um, and, and anything because once you love yourself, it don't matter who the fuck talk shit about you. It don't matter if somebody call you a hoe. If you got a nigga like me calling you a hoe, or you got a nigga like this saying you're not a hoe, yeah, it don't matter to you because you you're love yourself anyways. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You, you got love for yourself, so that's extremely important. And I think that you girls probably learned a little bit about what we niggas be thinking about sometimes when it comes to this. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, don't anymore. use this shit against so me. Don't, don't use this shit against me. Don't be saying I got a small dick. That shit gonna hurt me. <laughs> yeah, man. Now nah, you know the thing is actually. You know, I'm glad you said about that. Would you rather your girl be honest with you or lie to you? She better about lie. it. You want her to lie? lie you better lie, lie to me, lie. bitch. Yeah, man. I think me too, bro. You I ain't better gonna lie. lie to me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I might want you to lie too, bro. I ain't you, gonna lie. You, you bet. Yeah, bro. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't. Like I can't. My life already been too stressful. Yeah, you yeah, can't ruin yeah, it yeah. anymore for me. Yeah, but like, if you tell, yeah, the minute you tell I got a small day, I can't do nothing about that too. Or that's nothing in my control. Don't tell me that shit. That shit gonna fuck my whole you day. Gotta, you gotta hit it back. That shit fuck my whole year up actually. I'll Your be whole, fucked year up the whole year? Up? Nigga, you know how long is a year? Be, that's uh, what it'll, be, it'll be December twenty fifth. I'll be crying, nigga. Everybody celebrate. <laughs> I'm just crying. Like damn, bro. <laughs> Now, you, you know you know why that fucks with you, too? Look, I'm glad that you brought that shit up, too, because think about that shit, right? This is why you shouldn't be a hoe, because think about this now, right? I think you should be a hoe. If you're a guy, you shouldn't be a hoe. If you got a little dick, you're a guy, you should guy be shouldn't be a hoe. No, because you know what's going to happen? Now, nah, them girls going to talk shit about you. The wait, whole time, you wait, wouldn't even know wait, wait, it. You wouldn't wait, even know wait. it. And then, then I have a problem there, because if you if you were being a hoe out there, bro, that means you got to give 110% to whoever you fucking with, bro. Because it because that's bullshit. So you think that's being bullshit. a hoe is harder than being in a relationship? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, sir, break that down. Yes, all right, sir, fuck it. Yes, break sir. that shit down. I like wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. I'll give you I like two this. solid minutes. Okay. 
No, no, fuck it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I bro, like when this. you're in a relationship, you can 50% it, bro. Why? In, in a sexual <laughs> aspect. Okay, why? Not in an emotion. I'm not talking about actually like being there. You can 50% the sexual shit. Okay. When you when you hoeing out there, you got to be 110% if you think about it because nobody going to want to fuck with you. Wait, 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 George. Nobody going to want to fuck with you if work is wrong. This nigga with dick whack, bro. If yo, if yo, you fuck a girl bad, like you give a hundred, to, even though yeah. you die, nigga, you die like yo, like fuck, fuck it. it, fuck it, yeah. She yeah. gonna tell homegirls he was good, yeah, he yeah. was real good. Word him out, and then her homegirl gonna out. tell somebody else, and then you gonna get another. Word him out, that's business. That's how business is run. So yeah, that's I how mean, business is run. You gotta. Bro. Uh, what that's, I what that's, I'm trying to say? No, 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 no. You're what I'm trying to say? What I'm that trying to say is that if you gonna be home, think that's busy, bro. If you gonna be no. If you're going to be hoeing, bro, you can't have facet. That's all I'm trying to say. If you're hoeing, you can't have facet because it doesn't make any sense. So you feel like, okay, so you feel like like for men, when they get in a relationship, you just get lazier then? Like it's okay with getting lazier? Look at married men. Uh, They get lazy. You know what? You go ahead with it now. You say no. I want to know. I don't know why you think no. Cause no, now no. he got a good fucking point though. You can't even fucking challenge that shit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hit with Uno reverse. Okay. Okay. Reverse what is card. it? Yo, honestly, I feel like nigga, you supposed to give your girl hundred percent, like even when you don't want to, bro. Okay, Yo, what you doing? So I, I feel you have to give her a hundred percent, bro. Cause at the end of the day, nigga, when she when you want something, she gonna give it to you, bro. These random girls on the street ain't gonna give you shit. I could give these bitches a quarter. <laughs> Fuck this hoe. <laughs> nah, but check it. I, look, I give a random bitch a quarter before I give her a hundred. What? Wait, wait, wait. A whole dollar. Wait, wait, wait. No, I say that because you know rule, rule number one in the nigga nigga niggas ain't shit Bible testimony is don't fuck with the same girls in the same friend group. Yeah, that's true. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it you, you you're fucking yourself up yeah, when you're doing that. Cause they talking shit about you. They gonna you, definitely be talking. You shit You never about fuck you. with the same girls in the same friend don't, group. Don't, don't do think it. don't think you can fuck her. You her and then go fuck her best friend. Nah, 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 nah. She already told her work. best friend. She, she already, already told, told her best friend. friend. Oh, I'm talking to you. Yeah, she already. Yeah, and then you are gonna hit up that girl and you gonna you gonna go into this convoluted shit and then you gonna get fucked and then there goes that pussy down the window. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but check it though. But, but, it. but wait, wait, wait. That shit's real though. Like I know a nigga. He tried to fuck with. These are five girls that are all French. He tried to fuck with all four of them, all five of them, within a month span. <laughs> nah, you crazy. Like he really, like he really shot his shot. You crazy. How the fuck he copy and paste? This nigga copy and paste like he did. The message, the message is just Bruh, fuck it. The fuck nigga it. did it in within. An, I don't know. Maybe like in a month or two months span, but it's yeah. like you're retarded, nah. nigga. You don't know they talk shit about you. Put your lips on the mic, honey. Put your lips on the mic, honey, nah, please. Nah, that shit. Don't ever say that shit. I'm going to say that to you every single time. <laughs> Put your lips so, on the mic, honey. Huh? Tell me how my dog... About, about, about... You said you said when you're hoeing around, you got to give these hoes 100% of your dick. But when you're in a relationship, you can give your girl about 50% of it. You don't got to give her 100%. You, you got to give her 100% No, no. No, no. Well... Okay, sometimes. All okay, right. in the week. All right, here, here. What you gotta right, give her? L- l- listen, listen. You can give her sometimes dick, but she's not. She's gonna give you sometimes pussy because you want to give her a fifty percent dick. Nah, it don't work the same. Nah, way. Yeah, it does. No, it don't because think about it. Girls, Remember, girls this. work very differently than guys, my nigga. G- guys work by stroke game. Girls don't really work right. by stroke game. Girls, girls really work either off natural born talent. Natural, real natural, fucking natural. Like, real like water park. You get what I'm saying? Real just water, water park. park talent. <laughs> yeah, you just got a natural water park, or you just got a dumb head. Like, uh, one of the two. No, but but that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's different for guys and girls because a girl can't really give you like a girl could give you like 50 percent head. She, and instead of 100% head. That's true. But if you think about it, it's the same thing for the girl. Like if the girl gives whack head or she has like whack vagina or her whole shit was whack, like you're going to be like, yeah, I kind of want to fuck with that girl no more. Like you kind of want to move on from that. But no. Yeah, no. it's, but it's how it you though. look at it. It's how you no, look at no, it. No, 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 no. Because think about it. Okay. You could look at it as a waste of time or the no. niggas might look at it as just another chapter in the book. No, because look at it like this though. If if you mess with a girl, right, and you're, and you're not in a relationship, right, you're going to want her like for you as a guy right like when you go fuck a girl randomly you want that shit to be good because if it's not good you're probably not gonna yeah, hit her up again that's why i tell you you gotta give a hundred because it that's doesn't make I'm any saying. sense exactly because because you, you we're talking about reviews here we're talking about yelp reviews here's the, here's the thing though I, yes you got one time to make one add, good impression nigga. That, so you want a good a good impression on the, like, on honestly, the first when, time when it comes to that kind of shit you just gotta nah, your to first be, night has to be the best night after you nah, nah, i think i think no i think i think you need to build a consistent pattern listen 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 because the second time you can fuck her the second time and have catch an L. 
Well, to her, I did, but you still fucked again. And she gonna be like, she gonna wait, give wait. you the benefit of the doubt, and she'll be like, nah, it, it, it was just that one time. Then she gonna call you again, uh-huh. and you gonna hit the third time, you'll be good. Play, but that's what I'm saying. You, play, got, play, that's like, you, gotta, you gotta build a pattern. That's what I'm you have to build <laughs> a pattern. Play. So, wait, wait. wait. This is it. First off, this, this is what throws me off, though. Most of the time, though, you're not even gonna have a second time with a girl, unless this is like your fuck buddy or some shit like that. Again, not even a fuck buddy. Not up, even fuck, but you if can, you're randomly hooking up, Yo, the best like if you're randomly hooking up, it don't, it almost doesn't matter, and especially if you don't know the person. You get what I'm saying? Think about that shit. Now, if like you said, if you're talking about girls that you may know, and you know they know your ass, they follow you on Instagram, shit like that. Yeah, my nigga, you gonna have to want to give 100 percent because your dick Yelp reviews is gonna be bad, bro. You got that's, one that's time to you. make that's a good what, impression. If you're gonna be out there, if you're gonna be out there, niggas, you got be out one. There. No, but this is the thing though. When you give a good impression the first time, you have to continue giving that good impression. No, you Otherwise, no, you're no, gonna no. get fucked up. No, yeah, no. you do. I, yeah, because that's gonna fall apart. I condone what this nigga said. What you you can bullshit. You gotta do the first one, the first time. With your yo, girl, you just yeah. Know, there's, there's, yo, I, th- I, mean. I think with your girl, yeah. Oh yeah, no, with your girl. But if it's a stranger, you have you can't bullshit the first time. The first time. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's pick up this conversation next week. And let's put a poll out for this. And let's see what people say. What they think. So the, que- the question is going to be very simple. Do you need to... When you're in a relationship, it's okay to give 50% of your dick or sexuality, whatever the fuck, however you want to uh, say it. And when you're not in a relationship, you're fucking around, you need to give 100%. What's the poll? That's going to be the poll. All right, but we're going to have to end this off on a... We got to close it oh, out. No, right? Go ahead. Close this off, Jay. Take me home, bro. Let's take... Take, yeah, let's take me home, no, please. Adam, what the fuck? Why I got to do it? Of course, because you brought it up now. Nah, nah, we're a group. This is a group effort. Come on, so take this, me out, bro. All right, I'm going to start it off. Set it up. All right, guys. This is going to be a real nice episode when we go post it. This is I'm Down. We don't know if it's down the block yet. You know, we're working that out. It's Almond. It's your boy, Jay, and I hope my girl don't watch this shit because she's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, man, I, don't, I hope my girl don't watch this. Y'all know I'm George. Um, you want to close it off? You want me to close it off? I right, man, I appreciate, again, once again, y'all, we appreciate you guys for watching. If you clicked on this and you watched this whole episode, we fuck with you fucking to heavy. End, leave right, a comment. If end. you watch this shit to the end, leave a comment down below saying end, bro. And that's it. And we're going to fuck with you heavy. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what. This is going to be the incentive. If you watch this episode all the way to the end, leave a comment down below end, and we're going to send you something nice. How about that? Because we don't got that much followers. We don't got that much viewers. And we could, we could make that happen. So if we get... So I, we'll do this. We'll, we'll leave it for the month. Let's say for the month, right? The month of December. If you leave at the, at the comments end, we're going to send you something nice. I don't know what the fuck it's going to be yet, but it's going to be something nice. It's going to be free. And you don't got to worry about shit, all right? Yeah. So once again, we appreciate you guys for watching. Christmas giveaway. Yeah, Christmas. there we go. Christmas giveaway. We appreciate you guys for watching. We thank you guys for taking your time, for liking, subscribing, whatever you guys do to support us. We thank you. If you've been watching us from the get-go, once again, we appreciate you guys. Your viewers appreciate it. Your like is appreciated. You subscribe and like. It helps the algorithm, all that stuff out. So please do it. Thank you guys for your support. We'll see you next time. This is Down the Block. Peace.